The Mosquito Assurance Program from Syngenta combines Demand CS Insecticide and Archer Insect Growth Regulator to provide up to 60 days of control. It's an easy service to add to a general pest treatment cycle, helping you increase revenue with less time, resources, and overall labor costs. With Demand CS, you'll have one of the industry's most powerful insecticides. Its active ingredient is up to 20 times more effective against insects than other products thanks to iCap technology. Inside the formulation, millions of microcapsules surround the active ingredient with dual wall construction. This allows Demand CS to withstand powerful UV rays and pH extremes. The capsules are also formed in varying sizes that readily adhere to pests on contact. Smaller capsules quickly release the active ingredient for a fast knockdown, while larger ones provide a longer release for lasting residual control. But that's not all. ICAP technology has even made Demand CS the only Lambda Cyalothrin insecticide approved by the World Health Organization for effective mosquito control. As for Archer Insect Growth Regulator, you can also count on extended residual control both indoors and out, thanks to its unique photostability. But most important, Archer can effectively interrupt the reproductive cycle of mosquitoes. So when you apply these two products together, Demand CS and Archer will effectively reduce mosquito populations and control a broad spectrum of other pests. Before applying the products, you'll need to inspect the property. While walking around the area, pay attention to adverse effects from wind or weather. Remove any impermanent objects. Empty out standing water and ensure that pets are kept safely indoors. After the inspection, it's time to put on the proper safety gear. You should wear pants, a long sleeve shirt, eye protection, and proper gloves. A respirator is also recommended, but it is not required in most states. Effective mosquito control does require a mist blower, such as this Steel SR200. Here are some other suitable models. Refer to the manufacturer's owner's manual for general operating instructions, and review the procedure for adjusting droplet size and pressure. Before mixing the products in your mist blower, be sure to read and follow all label instructions, thoroughly reviewing the specifics regarding mosquito application. You will also need to ensure that you are properly licensed to apply Demand CS and Archer in your area. To begin mixing, fill the tank with half the total volume of water to be mixed. Then you can measure the products. Syngenta recommends 0.8 fluid ounces of Demand CS and one fluid ounce of Archer per gallon of spray solution for effective mosquito control over a 60-day treatment cycle. After you pour the appropriate amount of product in the tank, securely reinstall the cap on your mist blower and agitate. After that, you can add the remaining water, securely reinstall the cap, and agitate the tank one more time to finish mixing. Now you're ready to apply, but keep in mind that you may need to refill your tank depending on the size of the treatment area. It's important to focus your spray on areas where mosquitoes typically rest, especially places that harbor adult females. These mosquitoes are the ones responsible for biting people and other mammals because they need a blood meal to develop their eggs. They also pose a serious public health risk by transmitting viruses such as West Nile, Dengue, and Zika. As you move throughout the property, look for surrounding vegetation, ensuring the spray makes contact with the underside of leaves. You should seek out shady areas such as those underneath decks and porches as well. There are certain plants and trees that provide natural containers for mosquitoes to breed in. These should be treated or modified to reduce breeding sites. A maximum application height of 10 to 15 feet will ensure proper coverage of mosquito resting areas. You will likely need to adjust the nozzle on your mist blower as you direct the spray from low to high areas. Also note that some areas don't require treatment. Grassy lawns and flower or vegetable gardens are not typical resting sites for mosquitoes, and oftentimes these areas contain beneficial insects. You are not allowed to make applications that contact bodies of water containing fish or wildlife. There may be situations when a property is not a candidate for a mosquito application. If there is no surrounding vegetation in the landscape and only a grassy lawn, the areas you can treat to effectively target mosquito resting sites will be limited. When you finish applying, the job isn't quite yet done. Successful mosquito suppression takes an integrated approach. It may be necessary to overturn containers that hold water, such as bird baths or pots, for a period longer than seven days. This will help reduce potential breeding sites. You can also place larvicides in pools of water that cannot be emptied or removed, depending on the level of mosquito population present. 
Before leaving, it's also important to communicate with customers. You should educate them about mosquito control, remind them about the importance of wearing repellents, and offer tips for reducing breeding sites around the property. Lastly, make sure your customers know the necessary drying time before re-entry. With that, you can move to the next stop knowing your treatment will keep mosquito populations down and let customers enjoy their properties more. Demand CS Insecticide and Archer Insect Growth Regulator for life uninterrupted.